Welcome to Your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 382. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing a book at one point, you're having some challenges getting it done, or perhaps you're at the stage where you need help reaching more readers to let them know about your book, you are in the right place. Good morning and happy Monday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc., especially on social media. Every day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published one. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. There is a huge amount of freedom that comes to you when you take nothing personally. Don Miguel Ruiz, a great author, great book, The Four Agreements. So once again, good morning and happy Monday. As I mentioned at the top of every show, mindset habits are one of the three pillars I've identified over the years that help to create a successful author and, as I always say, can turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published one. Actually, mindset habits can create a non-lots of things, fill in the blank into a mindset habits. I think we need those to succeed in anything in life. So mindset is obviously a vast and far-reaching topic with many, many, many angles, especially for sensitive creative types like us. So here's one. Wouldn't it be easier to manage our weaknesses and our triggers if we could root them out in advance rather than being caught by surprise when they show up out of nowhere? You know, like life. (laughs) I know I would prefer some advance warning sometimes, that's for sure. All of us would, I'm sure, especially those surprises where your emotions and your primal brain run in direct opposition to your logic and reason. Hence phrases like triggered and hot buttons, all the phrases that we've heard to describe those kind of emotional life moments. For example, as an author, one bad book review out of maybe like 50 or even 100 tells you that you have no business being an author and you can't write for you know what, (laughs) which totally, unfortunately, matches some negative self-talk you've been carrying around with you perhaps for years. And there you go. Boom. Triggered. Even though logically you realize that just one person's opinion, maybe something about your book subject matter triggered them, or maybe they were having a bad day. I mean, who really knows? Logically, you know not to take it personally. Emotionally, though, yeah, your emotions are like a whole different part of your brain. (laughs) So I personally haven't figured out how to root out these triggers and negative self-talk in advance without actually experiencing them. However, good news I have learned a few things over the years, especially as a professional creative of like forever, (laughs) about how to handle these moments. So I've identified some things for you, four different ways. Number one, run toward the lesson. And let's face it, these moments suck with a capital S and it's perfectly okay to initially take things personally and maybe even be oversensitive. Again, we're artists, you know, honor your your inner creative, your outer creative, your, we're all creative. <laughs> and it's okay to take things personally and sensitively in the moment especially, so don't beat yourself up for that. But once you've done that, the quicker you can move on and get to the lesson, the better. Whatever lessons you can find about others, about life, about yourself, Make it a game to find as many lessons as possible from the situation. Think of these otherwise challenging life moments as opportunities to snatch up as many lessons as possible before the moment passes. The more lessons you can collect per situation, the better you will handle the same situation or similar ones next time. So make that a little game. How many lessons can you find? And the second thing I found that is helpful in these situations, it also helps to get whatever triggered you out into the light of day. Don't keep your upsets festering in the darkness. Finding the lesson requires letting it all out, whether to friends, loved ones, journaling, or all of the above. When you find yourself triggered by something, by anything, let it out. And number three, the number three mindset lesson I've learned over the years about dealing with kind of personal hot buttons, and this may sound strange, But once you get to the other side, acknowledge and celebrate yourself for uncovering and successfully managing yet another emotional hot button. I mean, we all have them. So that's the other thing, too, is realize that you're not alone. We all go through these things, especially as artists. We probably go through them with maybe a little bit more color 
and excitement because we're just, you know, we're sensitive people. So celebrate yourself for surviving it again. <laughs> One less thing to surprise you in the future, right? You've uncovered something. Yay. <laughs> Find a way to acknowledge yourself. And number four, the final mindset lesson about these situations where we get to kind of exercise, and I don't mean like the fitness kind, exercise our personal demons, especially for us as authors, is whenever possible, really lock in and cement the learning by somehow working it into your writing. Yet another benefit of being an author that regular people don't have, right? We don't get to just learn the thing, but we can really learn the thing. We can put the thing into posterity by like putting it in a book. And when you have a character go through something or even parallel, you can, that's, that's how you really learn life's greatest lessons. I mean, I wrote an entire screenplay once just to deal with a, just a really traumatizing, tragic personal life situation uh, back in my 20s when I was living out in LA and I lost a friend to suicide. That was a huge part of therapy, therapy for me was writing a screenplay where not literally about that situation, but really took the emotional learnings and lessons of that situation, all the parallels, and wrote it out through a screenplay and had the character go through all sorts of things. Again, not, not literally, very metaphorically, but very therapeutic. So as authors, we get to do that. We get to kind of deal with life on a whole deeper level and cement lessons and really work through lessons at, at a whole deeper level simply because we are artists. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And I would love to see you in my Ink Authors group on Facebook. Drop by, let us know how it's going, how we can support you. Until tomorrow, happy writing. <laughs>